Hi, I'm Lasse Hallström. And I'm Lena Olin. And, and we're, we're live, live on South Beach. On South Beach. I just said that. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dina Stewart. And I'm Stuart Stewart. And we're alive on South Beach, a show with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And we're on Lincoln Road at the cafe at Books and Books. Tonight is a very special night here in Miami because it's the official, unofficial opening of the new social season. One of, one of the gimmicks to get people to go to events is to hype it way before it happens. And about two months ago, we got this invitation that said, save the date, glamour glam, nothing more, and we knew nothing about it. They said, email to follow. Well, for whatever reason, that email didn't follow us. But since we had it marked on our calendar, we decided to check it out and see what it's all about. So here we are at the Jackie Gleason Theater, and we're going to Glamour Glam. You gotta help us solve a mystery. Mm -hmm. We got an invitation to save this date and be at the Fillmore. Okay. And both Dina and I forgot to write down what it's for. So oh, no. what's supposed to happen here? Okay, well, this is an event for um, all local companies in South Florida to come and network with other companies who may have similar market, uh, similar clientele for them to kind of spread the word about their company and also network with other companies to help improve their business. And how many companies do you think are gonna participate? I think somewhere from 700 Maybe 500 to 700, I'm not sure. So everybody's got to bring a lot of business cards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like all their business, business cards. cards. Yeah, all of their business cards. <laughs> well, now we can go inside and see what's going on. How are you? Tell me, why are you here? We are here to, to showcase Miss Michelle's beautiful, beautiful gowns. She actually hand makes them. So we're here out here to kind of showcase um, her event company. And where would you, you wouldn't wear this to the beach. I sure would, and I was swimming it too, I'm just playing. <laughs> and what about you? This is just breathtaking. Thank you. It's actually handmade as well. All the pearls, everything is handmade. Is, is this a good job for a model? Definitely. Definitely a best way to get out there and meet people. So definitely. How long have you been a model? I've been a model three years. And what's the best job you ever had? Modeling. <laughs> and what about you? What's the best modeling job you ever had? I love to be in front of the camera because I'm very artistic, artistic with my body, so I love to move. Well, this is just all part of what we didn't know we were getting involved in. And it's great. Thank you, ladies. What are you doing here at the Fillmore tonight? We're, we're here rubbing shoulders with all our friends from the industry and meeting new people and also meeting Stuart Stewart. Well, is it, that makes it all worthwhile. I got a question to ask you guys. Uh, we forgot to write down what this event is supposed to be. Do you have any idea what's going on here? Well, Ariel knows. It's a spectacular event for the uh, entertainment industry. It's a networking event where people in the industry walk around and they you know, pass cards back and forth. Um, they network with event professionals down here in uh, South Beach and that's really what it's all about. What industry are we talking about? It's the uh, special events industry, where you bring in corporate events, social events, to private parties, and things like that. What's going on here? It's a vendor showcase for the Fillmore. They've put a lot of money into renovations here, and this is the party to celebrate the completion of the renovation. That's very cool. And do you work for the Fillmore? I work for the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau in convention sales. And this is one of the crown jewels, but do you think it's going to disappear when they redevelop this property? No, it actually is definitely not going to. They're going to even further the renovations with the new um, convention center plan and really bring this place back to what it used to be in the old days. You know, the great part of going to networking events like the one we, we were just at is every once in a while you bump into somebody you haven't seen in ages. And it's always good not only to see them, but to see where they're, where, where they're heading in their lives. I'm standing here with a Miami Beach icon. This is Lisa Cole, who if you wanted to make contact and get a room at the Fountain Blue in the 70s and the 80s, this was the lady you had to call because that was her job and she was really great at it. 
And I just happened to bump into it tonight at this event, so I thought we'd say hello. Well, hello. And <laughs> now, now that the Fountain Blue is on its own, what do you do? I, I still work for Hilton. I, I, the Fountain Blue is like a cat with nine lives, and it's always had different ownerships. The Novak years in the 50s and the 60s when it opened, then there were the Must years, and now they're the Sofa years. I worked for the Fountain Blue during the Must years, and Hilton was the management company. I left when Sofers took it over, and I stayed with Hilton, and I still work with Hilton today. I am the, I am the corporate PR director. I handle the Southeast region, which starts in Washington, D.C., and I head all the way down south over to Houston. So I got a big territory. And you got, you got to keep those rooms full. Yes, I do. It's, uh, That's <laughs> a somebody's got to do it. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a lot of work, but it's, uh, I love the hotel business and I love public relations, so I enjoy doing uh, I've it. I've known you for many years and nobody could do it better uh, than you. Well, thank you. On South Beach, tourism is a business for some, but it's an activity for others. And recently we were invited by the SLS Hotel Group to taste some of the food from their outstanding restaurants. And of course, it's all part of a big party. So this is the party and this is who we met at the party. So tell us a little bit about your company and why you're here tonight. Uh, our company is SBE. We are a hospitality company. I'm the vice president of special events and tonight we're showcasing all of our Miami properties. The Raleigh Hotel featuring restaurant Michael Schwartz, SLS South Beach featuring the Bazaar and Katsuya as well as Hyde Beach and also Hyde American Airlines Arena inside the arena. And what about you? What are you doing here tonight? I'm the director of operations for the Katsuya restaurants from Los Angeles. And how long have you been down here? I've been here for about 12 days. Well, let me ask you something. Do you feel like you're on another planet? I feel like I'm in a totally different zone, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but a good, a good I zone. I love it. I love it. I've loved every minute of it. And if you wanted people to come into the restaurant, how could you sum it up in, in one sentence that will get their mouths to water? It's a life-changing experience. <laughs> you hear that, folks? I'm standing here with Tommy Pooch. And when the history of the pioneers of South Beach is finally written by the 200th person, they're going to mention this guy because he's been responsible for a lot of things that have happened down here in the club business and helping to make South Beach one of the best party towns in the world. Thank you, Stuart. I, uh, I appreciate that. I, I think I'm coming up on my 5,000th party. Tried figuring that out with my wife the other night which means I've hired 5,000 DJs. <laughs> well, that's only part of it. You've opened up clubs, you've opened up pizzerias. Yeah. You, you've done it all down here. Yeah, now I'm getting into real estate. It looks like there's another boom going on and uh, I don't want to miss out on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you something. With all the careers that you've had, which did you enjoy the most? Well, once you've owned a nightclub, it's in your blood forever. And I was lucky enough to actually have one of the hottest nightclubs in New York City during uh, 1988, 89, 90. And then, of course, Nikki Beach, being co-founder of that, uh, wasn't bad either. But um, I can't get out. I still work at Liv and Story, and I work with SLS at Hyde. I love it. What well, do you think there's up in the up in the sky there's like this big club room and we're all going to meet again from all the years that we've been in clubs? You don't know, but I really do think about that. I really believe it and I hope in it. I hope my dad's up there. My dad was my first doorman in 1976, believe it or not. And I hope he's up there working the door at a nice club right now. Well, I hope you go up there, find that out and come back and let me know, okay? <laughs> I'll, I'll see you up there, Stuart. I guarantee you. We left the SLS event that showcased three fabulous new restaurants. And great food. Because it was my birthday, just coincidentally, and I wanted a special dessert. So we went up to Lincoln Road to DeLuca Restaurant, where I had the very best mouth-watering tiramisu. Very well worth it. After going to food event, after food event, after food event, and having one dessert after another, we needed to do something different. So we went to Sweat USA. And these are the people who sweat for a living. Well, I'm a socialite in South Beach. I've been here for years on the scene, rolling around. I also cover media. I'm a photographer, a real photographer. 
and not a paparazzi photographer, but I've done a little paparazzi only as invited press. Well, well you say you're a socialite. What, what, what does a socialite do? I'm on the scene, uh, and I go to all the parties and red carpets and openings. <laughs> What's the best party you ever went to? I don't think there's one best party. There isn't. I've been to a lot of amazing parties in South Beach. I've been here for 11 years. I've been to parties on Star Island. I've been to parties on rooftops like this. I've been to a lot of incredible parties. Well, have you reached the level that a party is not a party until you walk in? I've always been at that level. <laughs> I understand that, that you're a specialist and you do what's called the Brazilian butt lift? Yes. What is that? The Brazil butt lift is a, a program that changes the shape of the butt. So it can be any shape, like it can be a big butt to a small butt, a small butt to a big butt, or it can change to a flat butt to a perky and sexy butt. Well, you could change a small butt into a big butt just by eating. <laughs> you know, how do you change a big butt into a small butt? You have to do cardio and you have to do a cardio scope thing. Because if you do only cardio, it gets flat. So you have to do a cardio sculpting program. At the same time, you're burning the fat, you, 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 you create a nice shape on the butt. Lift, round and perker. Well, what is Zumba? Zumba is an easy way to dance and lose weight. And do you dance to this kind of music? Of course. Could you give us a little sample? All right, okay. With these heels? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we did feel it's difficult, but then it's too hard. I'll follow you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're great. Jennifer Nicole Lee, and we're here at Sweat Miami, and you're watching Alive on Miami. Wow! Alive on South. Oh! On South Alive on okay. South. Hey everyone, I'm Jennifer Nicole Lee, and we're rocking South Miami, and we're watching Alive on Miami. On oh. South Beach. Okay, Alive on South Beach. Yeah, one more okay. time. Hey everyone, I'm Jennifer Nicole Lee, and we're rocking South. <laughs> we're alive on South Beach. Okay. I'm Jimmy Nicoli and we're alive on South Beach! Yay. Woo! I'm Dina Stewart. And I'm Stuart Stewart. And we're alive on South Beach for... Syndicatednews.net. See you next time. Mm -hmm.